try. You think I'd fall for the old banana peel on the floor gag? <laughs> Oops. What did I just step on? First time he's ever looked cool. <laughs> I guess you could say our little prank snowballed. <laughs> you could say he caught our drift. <laughs> Snow drift. Well, you guys took all the good ones. Now let's see if there's any magic in this old silk hat. <laughs> I quit. another ice age <laughs> I said I shut off the machine when it stopped being funny <laughs> it never did you don't think mr. young was serious when he said he quit no way he's always joking around saying things he doesn't mean like your hair smells nice and can I snip some off and keep it in my pocket <laughs> and I'm not joking <laughs> He's hilarious like that. Uh, yeah, I'm sure as we speak, he's in his lab waiting to bore us with some science stuff. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey, welcome to the party. <laughs> Why are we having a party? It's Mr. Young's going away party. Well, more like gone away party since he's already gone. Candy apple? <laughs> what? Wow. He was right about you people never listening. Candy apple. <laughs> Mr. Young really left? Yep. He looked at me with those two eyes made of coal and quit. <laughs> Thanks to you guys. Awesome prank, by the way. We didn't know Adam was in that snowman. That prank was meant for you. Gene. <laughs> Eugene. I don't know anyone in this school named Eugene. Really? Because everybody knows you, Gene, and hates you, Gene. So much snow. Dang, shovel later. Come on in and join the celebration. I not celebrate. <laughs> I like Mr. Young way more than I like you, Gene. <laughs> You wanted the high school experience. I've had it. Turns out it stinks. I've never been able to get through to my students. I wouldn't be surprised if they threw a party. You're being silly. <laughs> you can't just sit here and feel sorry for yourself. I'm not. I've made some calls. I've decided to take a job with NASA in the space program. Well, that's good. But I mean, you can't just sit here. You're dripping all over the floor. <laughs> I heard the big news. I am so excited about the space program. Ivy, I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. No, I mean the closet space program. <laughs> Here's oh. your junk. Bye-bye. Adam's still not answering any of my calls. Or mine. Or mine. Adam! <laughs> Maybe we should go by his house. That's a good idea. My throat's getting sore. Don't bother. Adam's already on his way to Florida. He joined the space program at NASA. Wait a minute. Now, I'm no rocket scientist, but 
It sounds like he ditched us to become a rocket scientist. Ivy, will you drive us to NASA so we can bring Adam back? Forget it. My brother is finally out of my school, and there is no way I'm helping to change that. Okay, I get it. On a completely unrelated thought, I hear there's a new mall that just opened. Will you drive us there? There's a new mall? I love new malls. They have all the same stores as the old malls, but in different spots. Let's go! I can't let them bring Mr. Young back. I'm gonna have to stop them before they get him. I really wish I could afford a car. Wow. So this is it. My new job. Okay, here's your lunch. And I snuck in a little Mommy's Proud of You note. Oh! Mom? I'm here to join an elite team of astrophysicists working on the next generation of manned spacecraft. I don't want them to see me with my mommy. Don't worry. I think they're too busy to notice. <laughs> all right, we're going to the mall. What is all this stuff? On the way to school, I stopped at the mall. Stay oh. on your side! <laughs> Okay, I programmed the GPS to take us to the new mall. At the next intersection, merge onto highway. Proceed for approximately 53 hours. <laughs> All right, mall, here we come. No, they're getting away. Oh, I need a taxi. You car? Ah! Where to, Mac? Ah! Dang, I didn't know you moonlighted during school hours as a cab driver. I know, Dang. You mistake me for my brother. My name, Ding. Well, follow that car. Oh, lay off the horn. I don't want them to notice we're behind them. That no horn. That my wife. Shirley. <laughs> no, I know where I'm going. I don't need stop. Ask for direction. <laughs> Someday, a river. Get trophy. <laughs> well, Adam, you've joined us at an exciting time. We're nearing completion of the prototype of the Copernicus space pod, the newest addition to NASA's fleet, which will eventually take humans into orbit to Mars and beyond. Okay, I guess I memorized the Wikipedia entry for nothing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so excited. What would you like me to do first? Optimize fuel efficiency in the propulsion system? Program life support to produce oxygen from water vapor? Train the monkey to say blast off? <laughs> I'd like you to get coffee. I don't... Drink coffee. I'm 14. Not for you, for everyone else. I'll show you how to work the coffee machine. You just divide the number of cups by two to determine how many scoops of coffee you put in, then add one more for the pot. <laughs> if that's too complicated, there's a chart next to the machine. You really want me to make coffee? Uh, you do know I'm a genius, right? Hey, who here's a genius? <laughs> <laughs> I like my coffee like I like my holes. Black. <laughs> yes, Commander Redbum. Two sugars and a banana. Punch Buggy Blue. Mom, can we please play another game? Sure. Punch Buggy Red. How is that another game? Oh. I thought you meant another game of Punch Buggy. Maybe we should pull over for a break. Good idea. I could use a bathroom. I could use a snack. And I could use medical attention. They're stopping. Pull over. 
Okay, that be hundred ninety-eight dollar. Okay, here's two hundred. Keep the change. <laughs> that all you tip me? You know I expecting twins. <laughs> Time to make sure this car never reaches Mr. Young. Ow! <laughs> Stupid flashlight. <laughs> I'm just a little too smart for them. <laughs> Ow! Stupid car battery. <laughs> Ow! Stupid car hood. <laughs> Ow! Stupid car hood holding my face against stupid car battery. Any luck making contact with Adam yet? I knew it was a mistake sending him out on a mission. He wanted more responsibility. He thought he could handle it, but he's just a kid. I should have gone with my gut. And now he's out there somewhere. Probably lost forever. Okay, I'm back from the yogurt run. Hey! Okay, Bradbury, you had the lactose-free vanilla with gummy bears. Ellison, here's your sugar-free chocolate soy yogurt with coconut flakes. And I think we all know who the banana yogurt's for. Here you go, Herbert. Ew. Yes, Commander Redbum, I got your low-fat chocolate. Keep your pants on. Seriously, please keep them on. Your bum is disgusting. I hate working with monkeys. The thermoelectric generator is meant to cool it. Why? If I can make a suggestion, you might want to check on the integrity of the silicon germanium junctions. You want to make a suggestion? Well, why don't you tell the yogurt place not to give someone gummy fish when they ask for gummy bears? <laughs> They won't believe me when I tell them I'm capable of more than making coffee and getting yogurt. I guess I'll just have to show them. <laughs> First of all, I'm sorry I forgot the walnuts. And second of all, I really hope this is yogurt you flung. There's something seriously wrong with the electrical system. And it's giving off this weird smell. Like burnt scalp. Not burnt hair, just burnt scalp. Looks like our little road trip is coming to an early end. I guess I'll call Adam's mom and have her pick us up and take us home. You'll do no such thing. Well, I won't now. Oh, I'll see use your phone. Nice try, sister. <laughs> I was right. We can't give up so easily. We need to find a way to keep going. The stakes are too high. Exactly. There's a mall out there I haven't been to. I've got an idea. We'll put a note in this bottle, throw it out the window, and hope someone sees it. That only works in the ocean. Gone Brothers Circus North American Tour. Oh, can we go? I love those giant gray dogs with the long noses. You mean elephant? <laughs> Oh, we're going to the circus, all right. Because Derby has a plan. What is it? The four of us buy tickets to the circus. And enjoy it from the stands. I have a better plan. Come on, we gotta get to Florida. Get this tent packed up, you clowns. You're not sick. Your nose is just red from allergies. Hi. We'd like to join your circus. What do you do, fella? I'm a bearded lady. Our old circus shut down. I'm all bent out of shape about it. 
I'm a strong man. Watch me lift this dumbbell. I am you, oh. You heard the lady. Thank you for coming to my defense. I see chivalry is not dead. My pleasure. Animal! Half men only want one thing. Excuse me, sir. Are you busy right now? No, not at all. It's not like I'm in charge of a $19 billion program attempting to break technological ground that will shape human existence for the next millennium. Good. Check out what I built. You know how everyone here likes their frozen yogurt with different toppings? You mean different than what you bring them, then yes. That's what's so great about this device I designed. It uses remote electroencephalography to analyze your brain waves and determine what toppings you'd like on your yogurt. So I just think about the toppings I want and they come out of this tube? Yep. That way I, or the person that replaces me after I'm promoted, <laughs> can just get everyone yogurt and this baby will handle the toppings. Oh, why don't you give it a try? Fisher Bears. Bears? It worked. Hey, guys. Andy here made a machine that gives you gummy bears when you think about them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't everyone think about gummy bears at once. Take cover! A monkey's brain. <laughs> what do you know? I was wrong. I'm not gonna let you join my circus just on your say so. This is an exclusive high class operation. Ask Lord Snoutford. <laughs> I'm afraid my diminutive friend has made an irrefutable point. <laughs> if you want to join the circus, you're gonna have to audition. Fine. 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 I'm not in the mood. When are you ever in the mood? I guess a saboteur's work is never done. <laughs> what are we gonna do? How about we ride a unicycle on the high wire? We don't know how to do that. How hard could it be? It's basically like riding half a bicycle 30 feet off the ground with everybody stacked on each other's shoulders. Ha! Non-stick cooking spray, the saboteur's friend. <laughs> so, what's it gonna be? Prepare to be amazed. A little music, please. A little different music, please. Why do I smell butter? I know it's not you cooking something. I wish I could leave you, but I don't have the guts. <laughs> We're doing it. I don't believe it. This seat is awfully slippery. Ah! I told you to keep your hands to yourself. That was me. <laughs> Just get off of me. Are we in the circus? No! Yes! <laughs> now get out of here before I roll you in peanuts and stick the giant braid dogs with the long noses on you. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Ladies first. Hey, everyone into that tiny clown car I saw in the parking lot. <laughs> I'll stop you. <laughs> Darn these tiny arms. Throwing food. We were raised in a barn. Well, that was a long drive. At 
least we learned the trick to all those clowns fitting in a tiny car. <laughs> yeah, that there is no trick. Do you think this is his office? Probably. It's the biggest one. Whose office? The guy who owns the mall? <laughs> He's not here. He's probably in some important meeting. We'll just wait for him. Yeah. Is that elephant poop? <laughs> my feet are killing me. I gotta take my shoes off. And suddenly I miss the elephant poop. Come on! Let's get the last of this stuff packed up on the trailers! Freeze! This is a raid by the members of R. What are you, some kind of pirate group? No, A-R-R, -R, the Animal Rights Rebellion. Do we look like pirates? That guy does. Leon just likes wearing earrings and a do-rag. What about the peg leg? That's from a gator bite. The animals don't always appreciate being rescued. Look how these animals are mistreated. The lions? Those giant gray dogs with the long noses? This bear? Look, he's obviously sick. And those roller skates are a good half size too small. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Come on, you're telling me that's not piratey? These animals will be a lot happier when we get them back to their natural habitats. Mm. Oh, five more minutes, Mommy. <laughs>